In this question, we want to determine the probability that the x-coordinate of a randomly selected point will be greater than its y-coordinate. To begin, let's sketch region T. The triangle has vertices at the origin and these two points. So region T looks something like this. So we are selecting a point in the yellow region, and we want to find the probability that the point's x-coordinate is greater than the y-coordinate. So where do we begin? Well, let's first examine all of the points where the y-coordinate equals the x-coordinate. These points will be all of the points on the line y equals x. So every point on this line is such that the y-coordinate equals the x-coordinate. Now the important feature about the line y equals x is that it divides our triangle into two regions, region A and region B. Now all of the points in region A are such that the y-coordinate is greater than the x-coordinate, and all of the points in region B are such that the x-coordinate is greater than the y-coordinate. So region B is the region we are interested in, since its points satisfy the condition that the x-coordinate is greater than the y-coordinate. Given this, we can rewrite our probability as the probability that a randomly selected point lies in region B. Now this probability will be proportional to the area of region B compared to the area of the original triangle, region T. So our probability will be equal to the area of region B divided by the area of the entire triangle, region T. Now to find the area of region B, we will need to know the length of its base and its height. Now the base looks relatively easy to find. But to find the height, we will need to know the coordinates of this point here. Well, this point lies at the intersection of the purple line and the blue line. So the coordinates of this point must satisfy the equation of the purple line and the blue line. So let's find the equation of the blue line. We'll write this equation in slope y-intercept form, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. First, we'll find the slope. The slope will be equal to rise over 1. To get from one point here to the other, the rise is negative 4 and the run is 10. So the slope is negative 4 over 10, which equals negative 2 fifths. Now we can see that the y-intercept here is 4, so the equation of the blue line is y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 4. At this point, we know that the point of intersection must satisfy the equation of the purple line and the equation of the blue line. We can solve this system of equations using substitution. Since the purple equation tells us that y equals x, we can take the blue equation here and replace y with x to get the following. To solve this equation for x, we will first add 2 fifths x to both sides and then multiply both sides by 5 sevenths to get x equals 20 over 7. Now that we know the value of x, we know that y also equals 20 over 7, since the purple equation tells us that y equals x. So we now know that our point of intersection here has coordinates x equals 20 over 7 and y equals 20 over 7. At this point, we can find the areas of the two required triangles. The area of region B is equal to 1 half base times height, and the base is 10, and the height is 20 over 7. When we plug these values into the formula, we get an area of 100 over 7, which we can add to our calculations. Now, to calculate the area of the entire triangle, we see that the base here is 10, and the height is 4. When we plug these values into our formula, we get an area of 20, which we can add to our calculations. At this point, we're almost done. When we simplify 100 sevenths over 20, we get 5 sevenths, so our probability here is 5 sevenths. 